Hi and welcome to Swedish Plant Guys. This is the channel where we try and help you take care of your plants, both indoors and outdoors. Now a question we get quite often is that sometimes the tropical plants we have indoors just stop producing big leaves or normal sized leaves. The leaves just become, they, they stay smaller. Now I don't mean the new baby leaves like we have here on this Schifflera. These are just small leaves that are going to become large. But sometimes these small leaves stay small and they never get big. Now how come and what should we do? What is the problem? That is what we're talking about today. Now if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. Hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and a little extra info as well. And of course, if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps this channel a lot. So when your tropical plant just starts producing smaller leaves than normal, it can actually have four different reasons to why it's doing that. So starting off with number one. One very common thing, if, it's, if your plant starts to produce small leaves and they never get bigger, they just keep on being small, is that over time in your pot, you can get a lot of excess salts. Now what is that? Well, every time you fertilize your plants, you actually fertilize with salt. And not all of that salt gets picked up by the plant or by the roots. So over a peri long period of time, you can get too much salt in your pot or in your system. When that happens, that salt actually locks on to a lot of the water that you give your plant. And what happens is that even if the soil feels a little bit moist, it feels like the plant has access to water. It doesn't because all of that salt is actually binding that. It's preventing the roots from absorbing that water. And what can happen then is that it, when it doesn't get enough water, the newer leaves actually start to become a little bit smaller and they stay small. They never get big, they stay small. So the first reason for this can actually be that you have too much salt in your pot or in your system. Now what do you do about that? Well, first of all, you need to look at the soil here. If you can see that you have salt on top of the soil, and you can see that by you having a small white, uh, well, it looks like salt on top of the soil, small white clusters on top of the soil. You can also look in the drainage holes in the bottom. Usually when you have too much salt, you can also see it around the drainage holes that you have some, something white, something that shouldn't, shouldn't be there. That is salt. If you see that, then try and remove as a lot of it, as mo uh, most of it that you can. Uh, and then you can drain your system. So what you do is that you give it some water, let it settle for a couple of minutes so that the complete soil in your pot gets wet. Then you go to your sink or outside and use a hose and you give it water you give it water on top and you let the water just drain out of the drainage holes in the bottom. And you do this a couple of times, maybe four or five different times over, let's say an hour or two. What you're actually doing when you're giving that water and you're draining, you're draining out all of that excess salt. So you get, you're getting rid of all the salt. Now another thing you can do is of course you can pull up your plant and you can repot it. Make sure that you take away all as much of that soil as possible, give it new soil and repot it. Then you're fine again. 
And just in a couple of weeks, you will notice that the new leaves coming out will be normal sized again. So the second reason for your plant actually producing smaller leaves than usual, and then they never become bigger, could be low light in the same time as you get longer internodes. Now this is easiest to explain on a vine plant, like the pothos here. If your pothos just starts producing smaller leaves than usual, and you can at the same time see that the internodes, that means the, the distance in between two leaves, are getting longer and longer. The plant is still growing, but the leaves are smaller and the internodes, the distance in between the leaves, gets longer. This is an indication that your plant is placed somewhere where it's not getting enough light. So what you do is quite simple. You just move that plant to somewhere where it gets more light and preferably indirect sunlight. By doing this, you should just be able to see that the newer leaves coming out are starting to become normal again. Now concerning just vine plants, uh, concerning vine plants, when you give the vine more light, you're going to get smaller internodes and bigger leaves. But this is not only concerning vine plants, this is concerning almost all tropical plants, but it's easiest to see in the vine plants. But it, you could also have it, let's say, on a ficus, like this ficus plant here. If you notice that the internodes, when it starts to grow here, becomes longer and longer, the leaves stay very, very small. That could also be an indication that it's not getting enough light. Now, if you like the pothos, plant or if you like the philodendron scandens for instance or philodendron heteraceum we have all you need to know videos on how you take care of these plants and we'll put li links to them up here so the third reason to why your tropical plant is not producing normal sized leaves they are smaller than usual could be that it's gotten root bound now what does that mean well, it means that it has been placed inside of your pot for too long. It actually has an extensive root system all around the pot and it's bulging. Uh, you could sometimes almost see the pot is, is not shaped as it should be. Then the, it could be root bound. And what it means also is that you have too much roots and not enough substrate or soil in your pot. And the plant reacts to this by actually producing smaller leaves and not as big as usual. Now, this is not all plants that do this because there are some plants, like for instance, the CC plant, that actually likes to be root bound. Now, if you want to know more about the CC plant, we'll put a link up here. And also, the Sansevieria is the same way. The Sansevieria also likes to be root bound, so it's not going to produce smaller leaves because of this. We also have an all-you-need-to-know video about the Sansevieria as well. We'll put it up there. But most tropical plants doesn't like to be root bound. And when it gets root bound, it reacts. And you can see that by the newer leaves are not as usual. They're usually smaller. And another thing, they can also get a little bit faded in color. You can see that something is not right. So what do you do? Well, it's quite easy. You, the only thing you need to do is to repot your plant. Just pull it out, put it in a bigger container, add some soil, and continue doing what you're doing before. And this will solve that problem. Now, one other problem could be that, well, I can't have a bigger pot on my windowsill. I need to have it this size. Well, then you can cut off some of the roots if it's gotten root bound. So pull that off and start to cut away the roots. Now, we have a general rule always when we do this, that we never cut away more than 30% of the entire root ball. Always up to 30%, then we leave it. 
And we also always cut the roots from the outside in so that you, you, you need to keep the roots that are closest to the stems, of course. So you start by cutting off the outer uh, roots like this and then inwards, but never more than 30%. So reason number four to why your tropical plant is producing smaller leaves that never gets bigger. And this is quite a common thing. Uh, most problems concerning indoor plants has to do with watering. And nine times out of ten is that you have got, given the plant too much water. So overwatering can also produce these smaller leaves. And what usually has happened is that by giving your plant too much water, you're actually getting root rot or some other problems with the roots. And when those roots start to, de to decay and doesn't work anymore, you have less water that can be sucked up to the leaves of the plant. But it still has a lot of nutrients, it still has a lot of energy, so it wants to produce new leaves, but it's not getting enough water because you have actually overwatered, injured the roots, and you cannot pull up as much water anymore. So the new leaves stay small. This is probably the most common reason for this problem. And it's also quite simple to do something about it. First of all, what I want you to do is that cut back on the watering. Make sure that you're, you stop giving as much water as you have let the plant start to dry out a little bit more in between the waterings. If you see that you still have this problem, then pull out and look at the roots. If you have root rot, if it's gotten that far, if you have root rot, then you will see that, that a lot of the roots will have become black or deep, deep brown soggy and has a distinct smell to it, then you know that it's root rot. What you can do then is that you can cut away the roots that are infected by the root rot. Replant your plant and uh, just start taking care of it again. But make sure that it dries out in between waterings. Even if it's a plant that wants a little bit more water, you need to do that for a while until the problem is solved. When you see that it starts to produce normal leaves again, then you can start add water again, but not too much. So those are the four different reasons you could have to why your tropical plant is producing smaller leaves that stay small. So just try and troubleshoot and see which one of these problems your plant has, make the corrections, and you will probably be fine and your plant will thrive and start to grow like normal again. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. And of course, make sure to like us on Facebook and Instagram as well, where you get sneak previews on upcoming videos. And as always, if you have questions, if you want us to make a video about a certain topic, please make a comment down below. Now until next time, hi do.